Hi everybody, this is Son of the Hunter Mackinan, and as you can see, I'm playing a Neo Geo game, and this is World Heroes. Okay, I know it's been a while since I've watched it. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is a game for the Neo Geo, but not not done by SNK. It's by uh, it was by Alpha Denshi, like it showed there. And I guess I'll go normal. Uh, what? Well, which button? You came at a good time. Use the time machine to go all over the world where the strong people are. I'm praying for your, uh, for a healthy battle. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so yeah, this is a uh, an SNK fighting game. There's a start button doesn't actually do anything. So I'm not sure. Well, okay. I, I guess um, I guess we'll go with Jan uh, initially. So uh, the deathmatch version, you know, gives you this whole arena with a bunch of crap in it that you can use in the fight. But I'm gonna do the normal mostly because um, oh boy, that world map looks terrible. Jan. All right, and we go as immediately against Brocken. So this is a, you know, uh, this is a pretty, pretty, like, derivative uh, fighting game. Uh, and uh, you can tell that there's a lot of Street Fighter influence here. Uh, which is funny because, you know, a lot of the SN former, you know, a lot of the SNK guys that, you know, would make the uh, F F Fatal Fury were actually people who worked on the first Street Fighter, and the second Street Fighter was, of course, um, made by um, uh, the, the... So that button, I guess, just throws, suck, because I've been doing it very consistently. I have no idea what the special moves are. I, it's been forever since I played this game. I just downloaded it for the Wii a long, long time ago. So I'm playing this on the Wii in case... So I'm not, I don't actually own a Neo Geo like that. <laughs> don't go, go crazy. So Jan is obviously supposed to be Jean of Arc. I don't know who Brock is supposed to be, some kind of like a Nazi robot, I suppose. Although, eh, eh, maybe maybe not World War II era, but yeah, the idea is that you, these are characters from all across time. So there's Rasputin, there's Hattori Hanzo, and there's somebody who is uh, some, some Mongol warrior. It's not Kengis Khan, is it, though? But then there's like, you know, pretty obviously, you know, somebody who's just pretty blatantly, you know, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and, you know, if you look at it hard enough, you can tell, like, who these guys are supposed to be, like, you know. Brocken, Brocken is, you know, not a blatant M. Bison knockoff, but pretty close, pretty close. Oh, yeah, actually, this is bad, because the... Neo Geo games only ever had they, they only ever had uh, limited continues. Uh, on one hand, I do kind of want to lose a fight though because I they'll give you an excuse to change characters. Okay, I, I won that first round without like even really trying, and now I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, yes, I have a let's play of the first Street Fighter. Coincidentally, yeah. There. If I had arms and legs broken and tied together, then maybe you could win. All right, let's let's do Rasputin. He was he was the next guy that I really wanted to do next. So this is a fighting game that you can, if you if you so wish, you can actually cheese pretty easily with a death match, especially. So uh, I, I I I I wasn't blocking a lot, and you can see Rasputin has like a oh yeah. So Rasputin is definitely a little bit like this game's Dalsim. So, you know, he has these magical, you know, uh, extensions to his, uh... Yeah, his, his arms, and, you know, he uses magic. So, you know, uh, pretty much. And also, he's, he's uh... When, 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 even though he uses violence, uh... If you, if you, if you, if I manage to win this fight, you'll notice that he's a bit of a... He's a bit of a flower child. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, no, 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 that wasn't the th thing. I think his second victory pose, which I will give these guys credit for. Like, there's a, they did a bunch of these victory poses, and I think there was a World Heroes 2 as well. I don't think there's any other games in the series, because... But yeah, this was, like, very early in the fighting game, game, if you will, so... 
You know, the influences that Street Fighter had on the on the genre are like just super obvious in this. Ugh. You know, that, that, that plane in the background, it does remind me of something I, I finally watched uh, over the holidays. I watched uh, Armor of God 2, which is Operation Condor, and that uh, plot involved Jackie trying to find some uh, lost Nazi gold in uh, Africa. That sequel was a bit disappointing. It's not terrible, but it's nowhere near as good as the first Armor of God. Okay. Something happens between round one and round two. Like, round one always, like, you know, lulls you into a false sense of security with these. I, he manages to grab me. I'm, I'm trying to grab him. That's why I'm trying to get close. Okay, never mind. Brocken is... You know, uh, Brocken is clearly this game's, uh, you know, uh, Dalson. I don't know what, what, what the hell I was getting on. Damn it. Jesus, if I, if I had to restart this... I mean, a good thing would be, like, even if I keep losing... Okay, I guess we, we're doing so badly, I guess we have to do... Let, let's do the, uh... <coughs> oh yeah, and this guy's obviously... What, what is his name? Is his name is literally Dragon. So it's Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, we got the shitty... Well, oh, okay, there's the wall. So... So you... Ah, yeah, I forgot. This guy has... Dragon actually has good special moves, so... So, you know, uh... You might be thinking that this is like, you know, ripping off Fei Long, but obviously Fei Long is, you know, a, a Bruce Lee uh, knockoff. Yeah, so you can just kind of keep him... fighting him up against the wall. But the problem is, like, if you play the deathmatch mode, then it just keeps playing the same background music, which I'm not a big fan of. Not to say that, you know, that the like the music in this like is like especially good or anything. It's really nothing special to write home about. But but you know, I do like variety. Uh, and it's kind of it's kind of lame how you know how every arena now has like when you, when you play the deathmatch, like how every arena has the same music. Like it would be nice if they had at least like two variants of this theme. They don't. Oh, pfft. <laughs> Turn about fair game, I guess. Okay, I actually legit won it that time. Oh, that's kind of really funny how he keeps bouncing back. I don't like the way the shadows are, like, uh, you know, flickering like that. And that reminds me of... I think it's in some Street Fighter game. I'm not sure which one. I... I was no match for you. My skills are... My sk What? Okay, that must have been like a translation error. Okay, Fuma. Alright. So, I don't know. This guy is Chinese, but I'm not, not sure. No, wait, wait, wait. Is this guy a ninja? I guess he's not a ninja, then. I mean, I mean, if he's ninja, then it means he's also Japanese. I didn't pay attention to the maps. The blue guy is Hattori Hanzo, I think. Uh... I'm not doing well. <coughs> to be fair, I'm not blocking really eff effectively either, but, you know, the way, the, the way I'm doing, I'm, I'm still doing, like, terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, th th that yellow's, yellow gunk, I think that's, that's slippery or something. Yeah, yeah, we're sliding. And, you know, the fact that Hattori and uh, this guy, you know, play almost identically to each other, you know, is, is also, like, you know, it's it's obviously, you know, a bit of a Ryu Ken thing that they got going, but equally, like, that's just a lazy design, because the reason Ken and Ryu, like, you know, played the same is because they're the, they were the only characters to come back to, you know, to from Street Fighter 2, in which they also played identically, but I was, but I was, you know, in reference to the fact that they were just the player one and player two characters. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, 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 he's Japanese. But I don't know who he's supposed to be still. Okay, so let's let's showcase um, Hattori. <coughs> and obviously, this 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 game never became like a huge seller. 
I mean, not just because it was a G Neo Geo, but... Oh, so this is the monkey guy! I think this guy just literally has, like, Ryu's moveset from Street Fighter. Boom! Yeah, they're, they're chanting your name when, when you get hit. Yeah. I wish I had something interesting to say about the Neo Geo, but really, I don't. Like, if you don't know what the Neo Geo AG... Uh, wait. Yeah, yeah AGS was... Uh, you know, first of all, Neo, Neo, you know, SNK was a massively popular... I mean, back in the 90s, I think these days are a bit of, bit of a shitter, but... SNK used to be one of Japan's, like, premier uh, arcade game companies. They already started in the 80s. Um... And they actually used to, like, you know, be very close with Capcom. They published, I think, most of, like, Capcom's early arcade hits. But eventually they became, like, competitors. Uh, and then in the early 90s, uh, you know, uh, you know, SNK decided that rather than just, you know, keep porting their games over to uh, competitor systems and making them, like, in you know, inferior to what they were in the arcades. They would just make a uh, 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 console that would be basically arcade perfect. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll take a second round of this and I'll, I'll, I'll set the difficulty to easy because I, I did so poorly that time. And because I want to show off more of the characters. I am playing like shit, don't get me wrong. Like, I, it's not just the difficulty, but, uh, uh, Okay, who have I not played at? This this is the Hulk Hogan guy. Let's 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 pick him. And uh, uh, uh and immediately back to Brocken. I don't know why I picked this guy. I actually hate playing as wrestlers or grapplers of any kind. But he's basically just saying if that's the thing. Yeah, so the HES or Advanced Game System was, you know, the the full the actual name of the Neo Geo, but everybody called it the Neo Geo, as far as I can tell. Now, it was not a major player in the console wars at all, because I think it was one of those consoles that was just, you know, way too expensive for the average consumer. Uh, like it, it was in the it was in the same kind of very very niche uh, market as. Something like, you know, the, you know, the 3DOs, uh, and even the CDI, you know, the CDI, even though Philips very desperately tried to make the CDI. Yeah, he, he really, like, picks up the pace on this second round, like, he's doing way too much damage to me. Yeah, so, uh, and, you know, so... So the HES was like, you know, it, it was like a gimmick console in a, a, a bit. <coughs> M power. Oh yeah, muscle power. I think is the name. And he's not like supposed to be any specific character. I think he's just like a pastiche of like American wrestlers. But you know, uh, releasing you know con video game hardware, you know, it's expensive. So I think eventually like. Neo Geo actually, like, legitimately, try, legitimate, legitimately tried to become, like, a serious console company. So they released, like, a bunch of stuff, like, you know, there was a follow-up to the uh, Neo Geo called the HES, which was the Neo Geo CD. I don't know if they had another follow-up after that, uh, because I, th I think the CD console, like, failed really badly. Run, run. Uh, then they did have the handhelds, the Neo Geo Pocket Colors. Uh, I vaguely remember those being a thing. They, they did not make a splash in Europe. Like, uh, like I have no clue, like, if the, like, how visible Neo Geo was in North America. But I have to imagine, like, in Europe, like, they, they must have been, like, very, very niche. If they had any presence at all. Okay, I definitely, I think on this difficulty it's a little bit too easy to cheese the fights. But, that was just the first round. I think, I think Brocken was like a complete, you know, you know, wet towel, uh, or, or, uh, on the first, first go around. Oh yeah, by the way, the only reason I'm, so the reason I'm doing this, uh, I, uh, is because, uh, 
I'll be bringing back the Star Fox and uh, Mario uh, Sunshine, you know, momentarily uh, as well, but... But I think I have officially, like, finished uh, the, the, the Sonic Generations Let's Play for now. So, in honor of that, I wanted to play something, just something random. Uh, this was not my first choice, honestly, but the game that I tried to make run didn't work. And I had another game in the standby, but I don't, uh, I'll take on any challenge, any time. Oh, and here, here's another... I think I, I think if you, we have to break we have to break this boulder and then it turns into a statue. Now it would be helpful if I would actually know any of the special moves, but I don't. I'm gonna run out of time. There's no way I'm gonna finish this. This is not whose area is this? This is giving me some like uh, uh, Mortal Kombat vibes, actually. Actually, I wouldn't mo mind losing a fight now because, uh, uh, Ross Putin, like, yeah. You know what, this, this background theme actually isn't bad, I like this. It doesn't do mirror matches, uh, there was something that I tried to tell the story on the, uh, Street Fighter 1 Let's Play, but actually, like, you know, in Street when Street Fighter 2 was released, they actually didn't do the two, um, there, that's what I was talking about. He, he grows flowers uh, from his feet or something. Yeah. So the original Street Fighter 2 in the arcades did not have like the first two uh, out of three rounds, you know, wins the fight uh, sort of thing. But it actually had, um, I think it was like five rounds or something. So some, some random number. And then in the subsequent re-releases, they then uh, dial it back to just five. One round. I think I think Capcom might have like just literally thought that they had to do something differently, or uh, you know, it would force people to you know play the game more because they had to win more rounds to beat the uh, NPCs. Which, by the way, reminds me of another thing: was why the street, why the turbo versions of the game, you know, eventually came out was because because like this game. The, some of those early fighting games, like, they played really, really slowly. You lack maturity, my son. Nyah, nyah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who, who likes maturity? So this is the Mongol guy. I haven't faced him yet, and I don't really want to either, so... I think I'll be Brocken now. <coughs> I'll, I'll fight him straight, because, you know... But now I'll get to be the Dawson. I don't like the voice that he has. He, 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 it doesn't sound like... It doesn't sound like anything. He's a, it sounds like a, you know, a placeholder voice for some. I do love the, the kicking uh, that Rasputin does. Like, Rasputin really is the best character. If I lose this, then I'll, I'll, I'll do a mirror match with Rasputin. Okay, how do I, how do I extend my arms? How do I do the Dalsim shit? There's only three buttons, and uh, I'm playing this on the GameCube controller as well. Yeah, so the reason I wasn't... Uh, I, I didn't do the... Uh, okay, that's how I do it. All right. I actually have to press the direction. Okay, that, it didn't work that time for some reason. But you have to... And again, it didn't work. Ah, that's a... That, that's a tapping tap move, the, uh, the electric arm. Ah, God. Okay, now now we'll take. Now it's gonna be a Rasputin uh, on Rasputin action. Yeah, I keep pressing start, but I guess there's no start button on the Neo Geo because it doesn't work. <laughs> oh no, I can't have. Okay, so this didn't have mirror matches yet. Was that that was too that was too early in the pipeline of uh, fighting games. Okay, this soundtrack ain't, this this music ain't, ain't so bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit. You know, this this does remind me the slightest bit of Body Blows, which was House Marks. You know, uh, you know, pretty terrible. You know, uh, attempt at a fighting game. I'd call it a Street Fighter to knock off, but uh, calling it a, calling it that honestly is feels like an insult. <laughs> Uh, 
Because this one is infinitely more playable. Granted, the other one was done on PCs, but even so, even so. So, I guess I could tell you that the other game that I was thinking of was... Uh, doing was Lure of the Temptress, which is a point-and-click, you know, adventure game. It's one that I have played for about 15 minutes, like, years and years ago, but... I couldn't really figure it out, so I kind of gave up on it. Honestly, I didn't, wasn't very horribly impressed with it. But it is the first game from Revolution Software, so... Uh, so, uh, so you know... I think I will, honestly, I will give it an honest try now, because I did go, go through the trouble of actually downloading it, but... Uh, whether or not it's going to make for good game, you know, Let's Play content, I have my serious doubts about it because I think the setting is not very interesting. Uh, it's just a, it's just a generic fantasy uh, setting, but but you know who knows? Maybe maybe it'll actually turn out to be fun. Uh, oh man, I actually won! <coughs> okay, who am I going up against now? I'd really want it to be Jean or the Mongol guy. I really want to hear the background theme for those. As I thought, you are just another hurt soul crying out for understanding. Oh, it's a Mongol guy. Jay Karn. I, I remember that I do not like fighting as that guy. He, he, he sucks. I hate him. Okay, why didn't you grab him? I was, I was right next to him. Why didn't you grab him? Oh my god. I'm just out of reach. Like this guy, this guy's so short, but he he has but he has reach on me like crazy. I think I'm on my last credit too. Like you know, well that would be fine. Like we, we've already recorded a full full length episode of this nonsense. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so I wasn't really feeling like doing Mario or Star Fox today, but I uh, you know I'm I have a couple of like off days coming off. I mean uh, days off work. I meant. So, uh, a couple of extra days off work, actually, so, uh, and, you know, the summer holiday is almost upon us anyway, so, uh, I'll definitely, like, you know, on, on the breaks, then I will, uh, you know, do, do Mario and Star Fox again, but, uh, but, you know, I wanted to do just, you know, just something, something a little bit different, you know, even though I have so many series. It, it, I know the it's uneasy, but like the NPCs are really weird. Oh, oh no! Yeah, 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 got me, got me good. Hey, fuck you! Oh, I can't seem to get like a good, you know, uh, thing going here. So I think I'm, I, I think I've lost this. Yeah, no, he's, 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 yeah. With an ego like mine, there is no way I can lose. Oh, <laughs> that's not something that I would brag about. Okay, but let's let's do dragon <coughs> and let's do deathmatch for the rest of the game. I'm pretty sure I, I'm not gonna win. Uh, oh, but now we can't get dragon. Yeah, that's funny. It always like cracks me up about the original Street Fighter as well. The fact that uh, that the uh, 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 the uh, when you when you when you use the fire attacks on people and they catch fire. That their body proportions completely change because it's the same body body uh, fire uh, sprite that they have. So this might actually be before Super Street Fighter. So these guys actually beat Capcom to the punch. And speaking of Bruce Lee wannabes, there's a, there's a game that I did play a long, long time ago, uh, which I kind of want to try out again. It's like the Dragon the Bruce Lee story uh, game, which is you know. You know, supposed to be supposedly based off the uh, you know uh, the biopic uh, where I think Jason Scott was it Jason Scott Lee who played Bruce Lee. I love Jason Scott Lee, by the way. He 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 was he, he was the he was Kane in the Soldier actually, which is one of my favorite movies. Over so soon, one look. All right, Hanzo. Hanzo's probably gonna kick my ass. Yeah, no, ah, this is the thing, yeah. Oh, I, I'm winning the fights now, yeah, but uh, the problem is, like, you know, uh, it's it's just the... Ah, uh... oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> Ouch. 
Luckily he backed back me up. Oh, so he I couldn't hit I didn't hit the uh Oh! I didn't know I could do aerial uh, grabs. Oh my god. Like the thing about though, to remember, uh, you know, with SNK fighting games, like even when it say that, what, even when the difficulty is set to easy, it doesn't actually mean the game's gonna be much easier. Like you, you are, at some point, point the NPC will stop, will just stop playing around. So I think uh, I, I, I think I'm about done. And I gotta say, I am not a big fan of the SNK fighters. Like, okay, I have the original King of Fighters on this. That game is sort of fun because you get multiple characters, so it's kind of unique because you get, you know, you can swap out characters a bit. I know some people are going to say, well, what about like Tekken Tag Tournament? Like, I don't care about Tekken. <laughs> well, actually, I, 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 okay, I'll take that back. I, I, I did actually, although this is a bit controversial, you know, I did actually kind of sort of like uh, uh, Tekken, Tekken X Street Fighter. I refuse to say Tekken Cross Street Fighter because you cannot write cross with an X. That's stupid. Okay, I lost. But I know that game isn't very well liked, so yeah, whatever. Yeah, actually, you know what? Hanzo totally looks like Richter Belmont, I just realized. The same, same exact fucking color scheme. Okay, but that was World Heroes. I hope you enjoyed that silly little fighting game. Let's play. I'm Hanzo Dandemekinen. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.